Hi, my name is Salvador Higante. And uh, before I get started, I just wanted to let you know how I got that name. Um, I'm recently retired. I'm 52 years old, and which is early by, by most measures. And as, uh, as things go, I went from working 50, 60 hours a week for a, a long career to uh, now, every day is like Saturday. And so, uh, and I happen to be six foot eight in, in stature. And so uh, I picked up the nickname Salvador Gigante, um, just the big Saturday. So you can call me big Saturday. You can call me uh, Salvador Gigante. You can call me anything you want. Just don't call me late for dinner. Uh, Cause uh, I had to give you the old uh, retired guy joke, <laughs> but, um, yeah, just a little bit about me. I, I grew up in a neighborhood that, uh, you know, back in the 80s that was riddled with, with drugs and gangs. And, you know, you really had to learn how to navigate to get through there safe. And um, my career days uh, when I was in high school really consisted of an, of an army um, recruiter trying to recruit us or um, the police uh, telling us not to go to jail, you know, stay say no to drugs, stay out of jail, you know, those types of things. And so it was really a, uh, 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 it, it wasn't a lot of promise. Uh, There's a lot of what you can't do and what you can do. But fortunately, being six foot eight, you know, I had the beauty of playing basketball. And so I figured my way out of the hood, as they say, was for me to um, make it to the NBA. But uh, as things go, I, I got hurt. And that didn't work out, uh, but fortunately uh, enough people saw my ability and I, I went to a junior college and got hurt again. And so I knew that wasn't gonna work for me in the long term, but I decided since I was already there, um, I'd go ahead and finish school. Uh, it wasn't, I was not a studious kid, I hated school, but uh, when I was a kid, my father told me I either had to um, pay rent or I had to uh, go to school. So I went to school so I can get a nice job and go party all the time and, and do what I needed to do. Um, but from that point, when I was in school, one of the things that I enjoyed mo most was giving people advice. Um, I was just talking to a buddy of mine the other day and one of the things we talked about was uh, the time that we would put tent cards on the, on the table in the cafeteria and say open. And so what would happen is uh, people would come up and for us it was you know, it was the girls they'd come up and they'd want advice and we'd give them advice and we made a bunch of friends doing that it was it was absolutely phenomenal so um but once I finished school I didn't know what I was going to do I was my my singular focus was was making it out of the hood and uh I finished school didn't know what I was going to do and uh on about my 22nd birthday uh, a friend of mine gave me a book and uh, one of the things it talked about in that book was, um, you know, everybody having a personal mission statement. And so my personal mission statement is to uh, uplift the human condition in any way that I can. Um, I'm not incredibly talented. I'm not a talented musician. I got hurt playing basketball. I take my hand in playing golf and I don't know, uh, you know, I'm, I'm okay at that, but it's, I'm not going to make any money doing it. But one of the things I've been able to do is, you know, I've been able to solve problems and I'm able to work with people and that worked out pretty good for me. And so, um, you know, so I, I found a career uh, that allowed me to uh, really uh, develop value by giving solid advice. Uh, but, I, I will, but, you know, one of the things I will tell you is that there were a lot of people that looked at people like me and said, I'm not going to take advice from you. And um, they would tell me things that, you know, different people were upset that I was at certain tables and sitting in certain meetings and, and things like that um, for a lot of different reasons. And, and some of those might have just been, um, you know, my own personality. And, you know, we all have our quirks and our own idiosyncrasies and, and so on. Um, but the reason I lasted was because... Um, I was able to, to really give good advice. And, you know, one of the things, one of the downsides of that is I, 
let my ambition, I think, really get the best of me in some ways. And that was an impact on the, on, on my family at the time. Um, I was married and I had a, a stepdaughter who I raised from the age of two. Um, and I had a daughter that I had with my ex-wife. And, you know, the relationships with them were never exactly the way they should be because I was traveling 50 weeks a year doing uh, leadership seminars where I was gone. Uh, I'm sorry, not 50 weeks, 40 weeks a year. And I was, I was gone doing three day seminars and people at the end of the seminars would come back and tell me how much what I did was life changing for them. Um, but at home things, uh, you know, things were, things were impacted. So eventually, uh, that changed. And, uh, but along the way, I, I'd, I'd gotten just great, 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 uh, advice. And, um, you know, some of the best pieces of advice I got were from, you know, I got one piece of advice from a homeless person, uh, when I was in college and, um, you know, I'll tell that story in another episode, but it's a, it's a great story. And it's a, it's a piece of advice that changed my life fundamentally. Um, but you know, some of the advice, uh, another, the same person that gave me the book the first time gave me another book uh, that talked about finances and the importance of saving money and things like that. And so I was able to take that advice and found myself in position and, and, and I was been fortunate enough to work myself in the position of being able to retire. And so again, 52 is, is fairly young to retire and it's a fairly comfortable retirement. Um, and so I think the you know, in, in terms of uplifting the human condition and meeting my own um, mission, uh, I, I'm just really looking to, really looking to pay it forward. And so, and this is my way of, this channel is, is really a way of, of giving me back, of me giving back. And so I think the, the best way to do this, um, at least initially, is I plan on coming on here weekly, uh, just talking uh, to you and hoping to to hear questions and I, I would ask that you know if you have questions about things that go on in life and I, I have a whole host of things in the description that um, I think will give you an idea of some of the things that um, that I have deep perspective on and, and those other things that I don't you know I, I I I love the research things that I don't know I'm that guy and but I, I think one of the things that um, you know we all benefit from is is not necessarily having the answers because a lot of times when you have a problem there is no specific answer, but what we're really looking for is is some perspective and um, you know I, I tell myself or I tell people that you know my friends don't contact me and hang out with me because I'm a I'm a warm fuzzy lovey dovey type of laughing all the time guy. It's because I, I give good advice and, you know, I made a lot of money doing it at one time and, and now I, I don't do that anymore. And I, but I, I, I love giving advice. It's the one thing that I do, my one contribution to the world. And um, this is, I, you know, I'd like to have that continue going on. And I know that some of you out there have things going on in your lives that you're either embarrassed to talk about or you don't want to confront with somebody that you know, which I, I completely understand. And, so the you know if if you send notes to me at um, I think the email is is somewhere in my in my profile, but it's uh, you know the real Sabado at gmail dot com. If you send me an email with a question or a comment or a concern or something that you know you want to get some perspective on, send that to me. I, I won't share names unless you put a. Um, moniker at the bottom. I could, I could use that and, and share that. So it identifies you. Um, but it, it really is almost like an, an online Dear Abby um, column, but one where you can actually talk to a, a real person and hear the, hear a real person. You know, it's not, uh, you know, some of the, some of the guide rails that I do have is, you know, I'm not going to share personal information necessarily about uh, specifics in, in my background, you know, for a variety of reasons. And, and a lot of that is really to protect the other people on the other side of that, because I haven't had those conversations with those individuals. But there may be cases where either I have somebody come on the channel and, and provide some perspective or have them, um, you know, have, 
you know, share something because it, it really drives it home and somebody really could benefit from the from the help. Um, you know, it's it's very important that um, things are may remain constructive. I want to make sure that we're constructive in our dialogue and our conversations uh, because it's again, it's about uplifting the human condition. When I was um, leading large departments as a, as a chief executive of a department, um, my my approach was not telling people what to do. I'm I'm not that guy. It's uh, I'm I'm a gardener and I, I I help people understand things and I try to create the environment for people to thrive. Um, you know you can't force a you can't force a carrot to grow, but you can create the environment that uh, that uh, encourages that that flower to grow or that carrot to grow, and that's that's what I do. Um, you know it's. Uh, you know, but I want to start off with 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 content, uh, perhaps once a week. Um, you know, I haven't figured out the specific day of the week. I don't even know if anybody is going to um, see the channel in the net in the first couple of weeks. But I want to make sure that uh, if something comes in to me, then um, I want to make sure that there, that that's answered and that there's an opportunity because if if one person um, is able to take something that I was able to, to share with them and it helps them live a better existence, then I've really moved forward and, and trying to meet my mission and the world is a little bit better place because you're feeling a little bit better or a little bit more empowered to deal with um, a situation. But, you know, ultimately it just comes down to I'm a guy that's been through a lot of stuff, um, some family stuff, um, and, and growing up and, and as they say, um, you know, thou who's without sin cast the first stone. You know, none of us are perfect. I'm certainly not perfect. I don't purport to be perfect and represent that in any way. Um, and But I've been able to take those and learn from those um, situations as well as take the advice. And so I do look forward to hearing from you. Um, please um, like and subscribe and so you could get the benefit of other people's uh, experiences. And this is new to me. So, you know, over time, it's it's really going to be, you know, you talking to me and just normal people having normal conversation about normal things or real people talking about real circumstances and, and dealing with real things. So have a good night. I look forward to seeing you uh, next week.